Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It is a beautiful day outside today. Still slightly cold, but a beautiful day nonetheless. I figured today would be the perfect day to make a gingerbread cake. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be making my einkorn gingerbread cake with vanilla icing. It is absolutely delicious. So easy to make. You're going to love it. So I've got all of my ingredients set out here ready to go. I've still got to do a little bit of measuring, but that's okay. We can do that when we come to it. I've got an 8 by 8 inch baking dish back here lined with parchment. That's just for easy removal later. I've got that sitting back here. You can also do a 9 by 9 inch pan. That will work just fine. It just won't um, be as thick, but... It, it will still taste good. I've also got my oven preheating to 350 degrees, so that will be ready to go here shortly. So let's go over all of these ingredients and we'll get started. Okay guys, so I've got everything set out ready to go. I've still got to measure my flour and both of my sugars, but that's fine. We'll get to that in just a minute. Like I said, this is a very, very easy recipe to put together and it's absolutely delicious. Perfect for the winter time. You're gonna love it. So I've got some einkorn flour here. Now, if you're not familiar with einkorn, it's an ancient grain. I've got a whole blog post on it on my website. You can click the link in the description box below. And it'll take you to my website and just, uh, just search up einkorn wheat and it'll pull it right up. And it will go into depth on um, on einkorn flour. So I've got some there. I've got some powdered sugar. I've got some regular sugar, some molasses. Now I always have blackstrap molasses on hand because it's just good. I love molasses. A lot of people don't, but we're going to be using that today. I've got some flour. For my spices, I've got baking soda, baking powder, cloves, ginger, cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. I've got an egg, some butter, cream cheese, and some hot water. That's all you're going to need. So I'm going to get situated and we'll get this cake going and in the oven. Okay guys, so I've got everything set out here. We're going to start with our dry ingredients first. We're just going to go ahead and mix that together um, so that way we can work on creaming the butter and sugar together. So I'm going to need about two and a half cups of flour here and this is a half cup measure and I should have got a bigger bowl but it'll be okay. Now if you've never had einkorn flour before, it's got its own distinctive flavor. It's not a bad flavor. Um, I don't know, I think it's a little bit, I think it has more of a more wheat flavor to it than traditional flours. It's absolutely delicious. So I've got my flour in there, and I'm going to try to make some room here and make a mess in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of my spices and salt to my flour. And I'm just going to mix this together very well because I don't want to have a pocket of spice or baking soda. You don't want to bite down on that. So I'm going to mix this up pretty well. That looks good. We will use that in just a few minutes. Now I'm going to swap bowls and we're going to work on creaming our butter and sugar together. So for the cake part, you're going to need a stick of butter. And I just let my butter come to room temperature. It makes it so much easier to 
um, mixed together. Now mine's slightly above room temperature because it's pretty cold in here. Um, during the winter it stays probably about 60 to 65 in here so that's room temperature to me. <laughs> but that will work fine. Um, you can also stick this in the microwave for about 10 seconds and then kind of flip it over and then do 10 more seconds and it should be good to go. So I've got my butter in there and I'm going to add my sugar. Now you can use whatever kind of sugar you have on hand. I have some organic cane sugar here. So I've got that in there. Now I'm going to need that for my powdered sugar so I'll take that out from there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to cream my butter and sugar together until it's pale and um, completely combined and it's light and fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll add in our egg. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cracked open my egg. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And then I'm going to mix this until it's well combined into my butter and sugar mixture here. Okay, so I've got that in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my molasses. And I've got about a half of a cup here. So I'm just going to add this bottle in here. It may take a second to get it all out of this bottle. Okay. So I've got that going there. Let me get this a toss into. Okay. So I've got that in there. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up a little bit before I add in my hot water. Okay, so I've got my water here and I'm going to slowly drizzle this into the pan or into the bowl with my mixture here while I'm mixing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay guys, so I have a little bit of separation here, which is fine. It's just my water was a little bit more cooler than what I thought it was. But that is fine. All of this, like curdled bits, is that's the butter. It will come together when we add in the flour. So we're going to do this in about two to three batches. So I'm going to add half to my little mixture here. Well, if it can come out, there we go. So I'm going to mix this together and the butter will incorporate with the flour and it'll be, it'll become a little bit more smooth and not curdled looking. Okay, so I've got this pretty much combined. I'm going to, I've got the batter removed from my little um, beaters successfully floured my entire kitchen counter but that's fine it happens so I've got a little bit of flour left and I'm just going to mix this in by hand because I don't want my cake to become too tough so I'm just going to mix this in by hand and scrape up any bits that might be on the bottom Just folding from underneath up to the top, making sure it's all incorporated. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe up some of this flour and get some of that batter off of my sugar canisters. And 
grab my little pan here. So I've got an eight by eight inch pan that I've got lined with parchment. And it's just gonna keep it from sticking. And it's gonna make it easier for us to get it out of the pan so we can cool it on a wire rack. So just going to get all of this delicious batter into my pan here. It smells so good. I love the smell of gingerbread. I'll scrape my little spatula off there. And just kind of even this out into my pan. As best as I can. And this is going to cook up so well. A little air bubble out there. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the oven. bake it for about 40 to 50 minutes depending on how hot your your oven cooks um, it will just depend so you can take a um, toothpick and insert it into the center of the cake and if it comes out clean or like with a few moist crumbs from the center you're pretty much good to go and you can take it out. So I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes and then I will take it out and let it cool completely on a wire rack and uh, I'll meet you right back here. Okay so I've got my butter and my cream cheese and my little bowl here. All I'm going to do is um, cream my butter together with my cream cheese until it's well combined Ooh. and it kind of light and fluffy. I'll show you what it looks like when we get it there. Okay, so my butter and cream cheese are mixed together. They're nice and combined. I'm going to add in my vanilla and some powdered sugar, but I'm going to add the powdered sugar in slowly. So I just will try not to cover my entire kitchen with powdered sugar. But I think we all know how this is going to go. So I'm just going to add a little bit, mix it in, add a little bit more until we have it all incorporated and it's nice and combined and fluffy. Okay guys, so my frosting is nice and mixed together. It's a nice spreadable consistency. Now, you can add some spices to this if you want to make it a spiced frosting like cinnamon, cloves, some nutmeg and ginger to make a really nice spice frosting for um, like a spice cake or maybe gingerbread. You can add some chocolate to this, maybe one to two tablespoons of Hershey's cocoa powder or whatever cocoa powder is your favorite. You can do, you can probably do a mocha, um, add a little bit, probably about a half of a teaspoon of cocoa powder with about one and a half teaspoons of instant espresso or coffee granules. Um, that would be really good but I'm going to leave this vanilla so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cake and then we'll frost the cake and get it all nice and pretty okay guys so I've got my cake here it's nice and cool I just put it on a little platter so now all I'm gonna do is top it with my frosting
then we will spread this out. This frosting smells absolutely delicious. This is going to be a delicious, delicious dessert. And then all I'm going to do is just push it out to the sides here, kind of give it a little rustically topped frosting here. It's going to be delicious. I'm just kind of pushing it from the center out to the edges just to give it a little rustic looking design. Little swoops and designs into the top of the frosting here. So each little piece has just the right amount of frosting. Make some swoops in the top and it will look beautiful. There we go. And there she is. She's beautiful. Cannot wait to dig in for dessert. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So, as always, if you want this recipe or any of my other recipes, you can click the link to my blog down in the description box below. It's always pinned in the comment section as well, so you can find it there. So, we're going to go enjoy some yummy, yummy dessert, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.